Nation. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are having a very special episode on motorcycling. We have two very special guests whose lives revolve around a motorcycle. We've already met Puka Duran and right here, right now, we have our second guest. Her name is Alicia Gogol. Nice to meet you, Alicia. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for the invite. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Of course, it's it's an honor to have someone as talented as you in our show today. So, uh, Alicia, tell us a little bit about yourself and about what you do. Well, I'm a professional motocross racer. Uh, I do motocross every day of my life now. <laughs> um, I've been doing it for almost 12 years. I started when I was 11 years old, and I had a dream. I really didn't thought I was going to get where I'm at today, honestly. I just follow it and... Here I am. So it's been definitely a crazy journey for me coming from Colombia and now being here in the United States. So I'm just living my dream, literally. Literally, that's exactly what I was going to say. I was like, you're living the dream. <laughs> you're doing this full time right now on a daily basis. That's incredible. Now, tell us a little bit more about the types of bike racing that you have practiced or that you practice, because I know that you do motocross, but I know that you also do other things and uh, in, in bike racing. So tell us a little bit about that. How are they different? Uh, I haven't done enduro in a while. I did do enduro and uh, I got actually second in national championship in the United States in the full gas sprint enduro. Um, They're really not different bikes. It's just the suspension is set up differently. You can definitely race a motocross bike on an enduro race. If you have the skills, you can definitely get away with it. Um, now, if you want to switch, I mean, you probably couldn't do the same if you want to race a like motocross and bring an enduro bike to motocross world. It's kind of different, you know, it, it will have to be set up different, but um, they're pretty similar bikes, honestly. So there's really, not much difference between just setting you know that that's pretty much it what about the skills like how are they different in between enduro and motocross well there's different types of enduro races as far as i know there's short enduro races like sprint enduros when you only do a couple laps and then you have the rest and then you know uh there's the long enduros where you go like for three hours uh so like i feel like i feel like the preparation is different you know like for motocross races you um, definitely only have to go for 30 minutes. It's like a different type of intensity, you know, and the set of skills you need to do for motocross, like you need to know how to jump, uh, you know, go fast, of course. Uh, and enduro, you need to know how to dodge like trees and um, definitely be able to be on the bike for a long period of, of time. So, yeah. But what do you think is the most challenging thing that you faced in your journey in motocross? That's a good question. That was the most challenging. I feel like not giving up. Because um, I feel like you can achieve whatever you want as long as you don't give up on it. You know, like there's always going to be people who doubt you, but as long as you don't doubt yourself, uh, uh, that's like, I feel like that's the biggest challenge because there's going to be moments when you're like, uh, am I in the right path? Is, is, is this really what I want to do? You know, it's, it's a sport. It's dangerous. You know, you get injured. I feel like the injuries really makes me doubt myself a lot. And then, come back from them stronger, you know, I feel like that's been a big challenge. Wow, absolutely. <laughs> And I actually, I, I imagine that there is a lot of women, a lot of girls out there who might want to learn how to ride a bike, who might want to get into this, but maybe they, they maybe are scared or intimidated. What would be something that you would tell those girls? <laughs> well, Something I told myself not to be scared is like, you're gonna get hurt one way or another. Might as well just get hurt doing something you actually love. You know, if this is what you want to do, don't be scared. You know, because I remember I was telling this to my mom one day. I was like, well, listen, I can die crossing the street tomorrow and you didn't let me ride my motorcycle. You know, so I mean, fear is based on the future. So, like, in the future, it's just part of our imagination. So, I feel like don't be scared, just live in the moment, go ahead and do it. You know, that's pretty much what I will tell the girls. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. I'm sure that this is a wonderful piece of advice coming from someone that is so experienced. Honestly, I might just pick up a motorcycle one day and do it. I mean, I'm not sure, but it will be fun. Um, and so tell us maybe, I would love to know what is the story of the first time that you rode a motorcycle? 
the first day I rode a motorcycle, well, I didn't actually have my own motorcycle for a while. So I actually rode a rented motorcycle. And uh, I remember I was super excited. I was super scared at the same time. Uh, this was actually in Colombia, uh, in one of the small towns there near Bogota. Um, I actually crashed really hard. It was in a small 85 motorcycle KDM. And I crashed really hard. I couldn't sit for a while. So, yeah, it was, it was actually that moment I was like, do I really want to do this? It took me actually a month to get back on a motorcycle after that. Wow. Well, I'm yeah. so glad that you were totally fine. And honestly, it didn't scare you off. So I think that's the most important part. That's incredible. Alicia, so now that we've heard a little bit about uh, your career in, in bike riding, I want to learn a little bit more about yourself as a person. So what is maybe something that your followers would never guess that you're into? <laughs> Oh, I, I will say uh, I'm, a, I'm an artist. Oh, tell us a, more, a little bit about that. So I studied 3D animation and I, I love painting and I love uh, computers and I love like uh, science, computer science. Like I'm, I'm a nerd pretty much <laughs> on that stuff. Yeah, the, I, don't, I don't think they'll never guess that I actually do paintings and do animations on my computers and, and uh, yeah. Pretty much, that's, that's incredible. It. <laughs> if you ever stopped uh, biking, bike riding, would you would you pick up art as something that you would do, or what would it be something that you would like to do? Well, I will definitely snowboarding. That will be my because I snowboard in winter. Um, I haven't picked it up professionally, but that's pretty one of my goals. If I retire from motocross, I'll probably be a professional snowboarder, and. Um, and then, yeah, I will paint for sure. I will, I will do that full time. Paint, painting. <clears throat> Sorry. Painting. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. That's incredible. That's super awesome. I love painting too. It's so relaxing, really. It just kind of takes you out of that stress of the day. You just get to relax. So I'm there with you. Maybe if you come to LA, we can go paint and wine. And then we can also maybe go skiing. <laughs> I, I, I am not good at snowboarding. Those snowboards really intimidate me. <laughs> but I'm learning skiing. Maybe you can teach me one or two tricks right there. Well, we'll get you on a motorcycle and a snowboard and we can get you on a painting too. <laughs> like the plan. We yes, got a plan. Yes, yes, absolutely. I love it. <laughs> now, Alicia, from all the countries that you've visited, which I imagine have been a lot, which one has been your favorite one and why? Was it one? I feel like United States, honestly, but what would it be? It would be Arizona. Okay. Why Arizona? Yeah. Arizona. And I went to Grand Canyon. Oh, yeah. I feel like... I would love to just camp there and stay there camping. <laughs> that would be really nice. Definitely a place to visit. Absolutely. And um, what is your favorite food? My train is going to kill me. I love pizza. I will never give it up. Hopefully your trainer is not watching this right now. Hey, I know. Okay. <laughs> Well, I, I would tell I usually don't eat it much because I, you know, I, I'm actually very serious about what I eat. But once the season is over, you know, I love to eat pizza. <laughs> You've earned it, girl. You work out, you paint, <laughs> you ride bikes, you snowboard. You earned your pizza every once in a while. It's okay. Como decimos en Colombia, una vez al año no hace daño. No hace daño. <laughs> But so, Alicia, what are some projects that you have moving forward right now? What is in store for you now that things are going back to normal? Well, I'm training right now down in Florida with my trainer. His name is Mike Brown. Uh, we're training at Baker's Factory Facility, which um, well, it's just mind blowing for me. It's uh, one of the elite training facilities in the whole country. Um, it's uh, what's in store for me, just train really hard. You know, I'm trying to, um, start like being in the top five this year at the nationals and uh hopefully in a couple of years you know like get kicked out of the women's pro class to be able to raise the uh, men's pro class so that's my goal honestly that's what i'm, that's what I'm working on ambitious i like it i like it's it it's a long road it's a long road but i i really want to do it you know Alicia, please tell us before you leave where can we see more of you where can we find you on your social media Okay, so my social media is Alicia Gogol, uh, Instagram and Facebook. And I also have a YouTube channel too. So if you 
with my name and my last name, Alicia Gogol. Um, you can find me and I post a lot. I post almost every week and uh, every week, twice a week. <laughs> daily on my stories so you can just follow me there alicia thank you so much for being here with us today it's been a pleasure having you here it's been a pleasure learning from you from someone so strong and so determined to achieve her goals and i think that we all can learn a lot from you here in la tv we love empower women so thank you so much for joining us today it will be a great example for many young women out there guys right, thank you so much for joining us today on this amazing and extreme episode that got my adrenaline rushing i hope i see you next time don't go anywhere make sure that you follow us on all of our social media at latv network or on our website at latv.com you can also follow me on my personal instagram at papita reyes again my name is Jeanette reyes people call me papita frita and this is LATV Fan Nation. See you next time. Bye-bye, guys.